Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for the end of March. So we're going to be looking at the energy from March 21st through the 31st. I'm starting right away with the tarot. Make sure you watch till the end. I'm going to pick an oracle card to give you a message from the universe. Okay, Pisces, let's start right away. We have the star in the reverse and the ten of pentacles. So this feels like I'm talking to a Pisces who is starting to lose hope into a situation. So you might be still attached to your ex energy. You might still be thinking about, you know, a past lover. Uh, it feels like you're losing hope to finally get your happy ending. Uh, it also feels to me like some of you are reminiscing on the past 10 years, being like, I should have done this. Uh, why didn't I say that to this person? Why didn't I take this job? Why didn't I take this love offer? Or vice versa. Uh, it's not negative. It just feels like your state of mind right now is you uh, not being really hopeful about the future. Okay, tell me more about Pisces in this situation. Tell me more about Pisces in this situation. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the World card in the reverse. Again, someone isn't really motivated. Um, it feels like some of you are, are thinking that they're not good enough for a relationship or a situation. You're probably in the mindset right now of like, I'm never going to get this job, never going to get the perfect, you know, wife, husband, partner. It feels like you're waiting for something. And I think you're really excited about something, but you're waiting on something to happen. And it's making you lose hope because it's taking so long for it to finally happen. So, of course, we're going to clarify, uh, take what resonates. It could be about a love situation. It could be about work. <sighs> but, yeah, I do feel like the Pisces I'm talking to is feeling, like, not super hopeful at the moment. Let me clarify. Yeah. Oh, beautiful energy. The Queen of Cups. Uh, it's like, you know that your intuition is not going to play tricks on you. You know you're an intuitive person, you're an empath, you're probably connecting with nature as much as you can, you're probably surrounded with animals. I know Pisces, you guys are like the best animal lovers. They make you feel so good. Um, it feels like, again, something from the past is still hurting you. And it feels like it's coming in a wave, you know? Some days you're like, I'm good. Thank God this person's not in my life. And on other days you're like, oh my God, I need this person. I do feel like you're still attached from an energy, to an energy from the past. Uh, yeah, I think you love someone, Pisces. And yeah. I'm going to be honest, I think you think about them constantly. You fantasize about having a perfect life together with them. Having, you know, a bright future. You want to build a family with this person, literally. I think you're thinking about them constantly. <sighs> Tell me more about Pisces in this situation. Tell me more about Pisces in this situation. How does this other person feel? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, the devil uh, popped out of the deck. Like I said, I think that you're thinking about this person like a lot. And I do feel like they think about you too. We have the nine of pentacles that jump out of the deck when I ask how about them, you know? I think right now they want to be single. They're probably working on their money, working on building a solid future from themselves. 
maybe they're a little bit more practical, you know, focus on money and you're more focused on love, on emotionality, you know. Uh, I do feel like this person thinks about you. Yeah, see the hermit at the bottom of the deck. This person has a lot of shit to do in their life. Uh, I think that they're spending a lot of time alone, either working or just, you know, practicing self-care in any way they want. Uh, it's just that it feels like they're not ready to commit. It feels like they have to work on themselves. Maybe they have a, an addiction of some sort, you know, it could be uh, drugs, uh, alcohol, sex, any addiction. Maybe it's also a secret something that you don't know about and at the end of the day you're like what did i do wrong but this person especially seeing the cards that popped out this person has nothing against you pisces they just want to be a better version of themselves tell me more about this person that pisces loves so much tell me more about this person Yeah, they're on a brand new journey. They're listening to their souls. It feels like they're working hard to be accomplished at work. Maybe they just started their own business, starting their own company. Uh, definitely, they want to start fresh. Again, I have a feeling that your person is trying to work on something that is negative about themselves. Um, they had no choice but to put themselves first in that situation. And this gives me a feeling of someone that asks you time. You're giving them time and it's taking so long that you're losing hope. You're like, but I really do see myself with you. I want to be with you. I love you. I think we're a great match. It's definitely a person that you think about a lot. Like you, you think about them every day. Maybe not 24-7, but yeah, you probably dream about them. And when you think about them, Pisces, they think about you too. It's like they have the nine of pentacle energy, Virgo energy, hardworking, a single energy, independent energy. And see, you're the high priestess. It's like you both have so much to work on on a personal level. Yeah, and I do feel like they know when you think about them. You also know it, you know? Maybe you've been getting some signs, you know, some things. Feeling like the universe is speaking to you, like your angels are speaking to you. Uh... It feels to me like when you think about them, they're thinking about you too. I'm literally seeing someone looking at the moon and knowing that the other person is doing the same thing. Thinking about them. Oof! I have chills. This, uh, yeah, you guys are really connected. What is the potential outcome for Pisces and their person? What is the potential outcome for Pisces and their person? Listen, this could be someone who comes back into your life and can be the one, you know. Uh, it feels like they're going to be communicating with you. The Hierophant, of course, some people see this as a marriage and it could be. But the Hierophant is all about how we talk, how we express ourselves, how we put ourselves first. And with the Ace of Wands here, it really does feel like they're going to find a way to come back and talk to you. I do feel like they might be uncomfortable right now, not really knowing how to speak to you. Uh, maybe being a little awkward. They don't want to be clingy or anything. I think that they're going to come to you with an offer asking help for a project they have. You know, they're going to find something practical to find a reason to come back and talk to you. But definitely, uh, you know, the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands popped out when I asked, what is the potential outcome for Pisces and their person? 
honestly, you don't, it doesn't get any better than that. These are my two favorite cards ever in the tarot. The Hierophant is like the luckiest card. It's just a magical, magical card. And the Ace of Wands to me is literally the universe doing the work. I think you're meant to be with this person. That's why you're losing hope because you're like, I know I'm wasting time when I'm not with them. I love them so fucking much. You know? See the dead card at the bottom of the deck. How are you facing this transformation? How are you reacting to what is in front of you? This is what's, what's most important right now, Pisces. Definitely, because when I see the dead card, I know that this person is transforming right now, transforming their life. You're probably doing the same too. I feel like you're transforming your life more on a spiritual, uh, psychological way, you know? How are you facing this transformation? How are you embracing it? Are you being constantly negative about it? Are you being patient? Are you taking this time to work on yourself? It's okay to think about this person constantly. It doesn't make you a crazy person. We all do that. Let yourself be human. You know, let yourself feel these emotions. I know it must be hard at times and I know that it, it looks like this is long. It looks like you've been waiting a fucking long time for this person to make up their mind. I feel a weight on my heart. I feel it. I really do feel like I'm connecting to a Pisces who's hurting right now. Do I have an advice for Pisces? Listen, the cards are crazy. Yeah, you're gonna have to be patient. <laughs> you're gonna have to be patient. I do think that it will be worth the wait. Again, uncomfortable times, but we are working on ourselves, on our spirituality, on building a strong foundation for, you know, our future. It feels like this person has really high boundaries because I think that you create some type of like crazy emotion uh, for them. They love you. Definitely. They love you. Like I say, yeah, see, the Knight of Pentacle, this is slow energy. This is someone who wants to be perfect for you, finding balance, working on their money, working on their home because they want to be able to welcome you in and never let you go again, Pisces. Oh my goodness, I swear. I'm connecting with someone, definitely. Let me know in the comments below. This is really specific. It's not going to be for everyone, but I do feel like someone needed to hear this message. This person fucking loves you. They really... It's like they're changing their perspective on everything right now. You know? It is uncomfortable for them too. And again, when you think about them, they think about you too. They do see our future with you. I, I have a feeling that you guys are going to end up together. And like I said, oh, they're never going to let you go again. No, they're never going to let you go again. Okay, let's ask the universe. Oof. Your commitment is being tested. Are you going to be waiting for this person? Are you going to be patient? Are you committed to this love 100%, you know? Listen, this is beautiful energy. It just, it screams to me like this person is working on themselves. You're waiting for them. Be patient. They're going to be coming back with an offer, definitely. But right now... You decide if you're committed to this or not. You decide if you want to move on or you want to wait, Pisces. Okay. I love you guys to the moon and back, Pisces. You guys are just... I'm really connected to Pisces because you guys are empath, intuitive. You feel things like a hundred times more than other people. And I do believe that a hundred percent. So let me know in the comments below if you relate in any way and I'll be talking to you guys soon. 
in the next video for your April reading. Okay, bye bye Pisces.